The Patria AMV, Armored Modular Vehicle, is of Finnish origination and was adopted by the National Army in 2006. The vehicle has since proven relatively popular on the global stage where it has seen procurement by several world militaries since its introduction. One of the major selling points of the Patria AMV wheeled system is its inherently modular design which allows the vehicle to be configured to directly suit customer requirements. In this way, the armament, turret and onboard systems can be of local or foreign design and implemented to suit particular battlefield roles. As the chassis and powertrain remain largely same across all models, this proves a rather logistically friendly investment for my modern army seeking to fall under budget yet provide a modern battlefield component to its forces. This Patria's AMV designation literally describes the product in its modular sense, able to be converted to a base armored personnel carrier, APC, whose focus is armed troop transport, infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, with a focus on troop transport with fire support, battlefield ambulance, communications platform, armed or unarmed wheeled reconnaissance, NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, data platform, turreted tank killer, and so on. The Patria AMV is available in three main hull guises beginning with the base armored vehicle form, a high roof line version providing more internal working space and a structurally reinforced, heavy, variant required for the stresses of mounting large caliber weapons and powered turrets. As the AMV is available through a plethora of configurations, this makes the vehicle's operational weight rather variable, ranging from as little as £35,000 in its lightest offering to the £60,000 form when heavily armed and armored. The Patria Concern is based in Helsinki, Finland and was founded in 1997 with a focus on armored vehicles, primarily wheeled, as well as helicopter aircraft component production and support and mortar development. EADS, European Aeronautica Defense and Space, holds a quarter share in the company. Externally, the Patria makes use of the widely accepted armored vehicle design approach complete with a very shallow glassy plate for basic ballistics protection, a low silhouetted profile, indirect combat variants, and high ground clearance. The hull sits atop an 8x8 wheeled arrangement across four axles. The driver sits to the front left and vision blocks are afforded his position as well as the commander's position. Additional hatches are fitted over the troop compartment. Primary armament is situated along the hull roof line in non-turret versions of the vehicle, or in a 360-degree traversable armored turret otherwise. A large rectangular entry exit door is found at the rear hull facing for the passenger occupants. The engine is seated in a compartment to the front right of the hull, common to many modern armored vehicles. The vehicle supports use of applique armor blocks for improved protection against rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and other armor-defeating weapons while the hull offers strong protection from land mines and buried IEDs, improved explosive devices. The standard Patria AMV chassis is powered by a single Scania brand diesel-fueled engine outputting up to 540, 3 horsepower. Maximum road speed is 60 miles per hour on ideal surfaces with an operational road range of approximately 500 and 30 miles depending on configuration and diesel engine fitted, Scania DI-12 or DC-12 series are available. All eight of its wheels are suspended through an independent hydropneumatic arrangement for optimal cross-country travel. The vehicle is also amphibious by design, and can reach speeds of up to 6.2 miles per hour in water by way of an integrated propulsion system. The base Patria AMV internal arrangement is generally for three crew members made up of the driver, vehicle commander, and gunner. Passenger seating can range from 8 to 12 persons depending on the internal configuration, APC, IFV, etc. Seating in non-turreted vehicles consists of two side benches facing one another. Current operators of the Patria AMV, beyond the Finnish army, include Croatia, Poland, as the KTO, Rosamac, South Africa, as the Badger, Sweden, the United Arab Emirates and possibly the United States, pending the outcome of the Marine Personal Carrier Program. In the latter, Patria has teamed with defense powerhouse Lockheed Martin to bring a modified version of the Patria AMV to the USMC. The Poles have actively fielded their Patria AMVs, under the internal name of KTO Rosamac, in the Afghanistan theater under UN direction. August 2018, the United Arab Emirates is actively combat evaluating the Patria AMV for its army service in Yemen. This particular variant fits the BMP-3 IFV turret.